the university has given report on that. Secondly, we are talking about academic calendar, and thirdly, we are talking about uh, we are talking about you know uniform grade, grading pattern because grading has become a big issue now. So before we go for the launching of NEP, which we plan to do in 2023 onwards, now uh, we'll expect that our universities will come up with uh, syllabus preparation in the academic council because we have to pass them in the statutory bodies. So once these are passed, I think uh, what our university, our vice chancellor, honorable vice chancellor and Guwahati University has given us, we are going to, already we have issued a UZPC model. Already we have given a uh, you know, framework to the, so far as NEP 2020 is concerned. Now in the second step, on the basis of recommendation given by our conclave that we had at Guwahati University, we are going to issue the second pattern of you know, uh, framework for our university and colleges in Assam. But if we want to introduce in 2023, the most important task will be the syllabus preparation. So without that, our colleges uh, would not be able to introduce it. And uh, we want to do it at one go because all at a one go, all colleges, universities should introduce NEP. Otherwise, what would happen is that some you know institutions will be left out from the NEP framework, and those products will not be having similar kind of weightage as per the NEP products. So we want uh, this is the this is our uh, intention that at one go NEP should twenty I mean twenty twenty should be introduced as per our requirement and uh, perhaps we are going to introduce from 2023 if all parameters are taken care of. Uh, in fact, uh, some states, Karnataka is doing very well, Delhi is doing, uh, going ahead with that, but nevertheless they have confusion. In fact, I recently visited Delhi University, they have many confusions. In fact, uh, four-year degree has been introduced and I also tell you our colleagues from various colleges that don't expect a very perfect system from the beginning. We might have some you know, uh, discrepancies here and there, but as we go all along, we believe all issues will be taken care of. Also the role of technology will be taken help. Uh, so I do not want to give a detailed uh, account of that. If you have any question, perhaps I can you know, uh, be here for 10 minutes for your question answer. Uh, well, uh, all I believe seven parameters of NAC accreditation. In fact, tomorrow we have got representatives from NAC. We have seven members team coming from NAC Bangalore because in Assam more than 350 colleges are there. But according to our report, more than 90 colleges have not applied for NAC accreditation. So under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister has directed all the colleges who have not applied for NAC accreditation tomorrow at Bibura College, we are having a meeting. And in this meeting, we have invited, you know, administrative person, including chairman from NAC Bangalore is coming tomorrow for a training for with those colleges who have not bothered to apply. Well, you see, we get a fat salary. We are a very advantageous, you know, we belong to the advantageous section of the society. But in spite of that, out of 350 colleges, almost 100 colleges have not bothered to apply for NAC accreditation at all. This will not happen. This will not happen. And under Honorable Chief Minister, we have taken steps so that we are now inviting them to you know, give them some kind of training. What is their problem? So these are some of the initiatives that we'd like to take. Well, we do not want to threaten anyone. It's a question of mutual, you know, confidence building exercise, you to have a lot of problems, you to have a lot of issues to be grappled with. You are also confronting a lot of problems, but we march ahead. That is what the leadership is all about. What is principle? Principle is all about the leadership. You know, yesterday, government of Assam has given a word to 5,841 schools of Assam who have got a plus. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they do not have problems. They do have problems. 
But why some schools are doing better and some are not? I think here the leadership factor is very, very important. Why Professor Okil Dutta is Okil Dutta? That is why why our honorable VC is you know <laughs> class apart. Some people are class apart. Some people are they stand on their own. So what I say is that systemic problems are there, but along with systemic problems, the leadership, the individual factor, you as a you know leader in the society, I think it is very critical. Why some out of forty six thousand schools in Assam? Why 5,841 school got A plus? I mean, the facilities are saying they have problems all along. We <laughs> have problems galore. So what I'm urging you is the leadership factor. Problems are said, thaki boy, ami jatna kori, gili gili phu kori dia logale ka khamoshya onto na hoy. Zodi umoy aso, I am also part of the system. We are trying to inject something. But having said, we cannot, you know, gute difficult the skin kaile naikya koi di banwaro. So I urge upon to all of you to, uh, you know, give your best to the your institution so that we can create a palpable dent in the higher education sector of Assam. With these words, I compliment all of you for having, you know, that you have come here. And I look forward for a very meaningful participation of all the colleagues in today's. Thank you. Namaskar.